Welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is set to take us on the craziest wall-shattering journey through the MCU multiverse as Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme Wong, and the all-powerful Scarlet Witch look to potentially face off against the dark and scary threats that lurk beyond what's known. But with the stakes this high and the multiverse in the balance, not even having Professor Xavier from the Fox X-Men is going to be enough. Because if things are about to get dark, the MCU is going to need a hero for the end of the night. But she's got to be strong and she's gotta be fast, and she's gotta be fresh from the fight. I'm talking about the long-awaited America Chavez, baby. But just who is Sochi Gomez's America Chavez in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Well, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on just who MCU's newest Young Avenger is so that you can get an idea of just how massively an important role that America Chavez is going to play in the upcoming Multiverse Mayhem. So, when America Chavez, or Miss America, first made her debut on the pages of 2011's Vengeance Number 1, she was already pretty much straight out of the game one of the most powerful Marvel heroes in the comic book multiverse, as creators Joe Casey and Nick Dragata equipped America Chavez with crazy amounts of superhuman strength and durability. So much so that she can freaking rip a zillion ton metal door off of its hinges like it was nothing, and produce a stomp so powerful that could send even as guardian gods flying. With Kid Loki even referring to America Chavez as a nearly indestructible superwoman who can throw tanks to the moon out of fear of getting his ass cheeks beat which was very much on the table. And Loki is 100% correct about that nearly indestructible part with America being able to deflect bullets and even energy blasts with relative ease. And hell, in Vengeance number five, America Chavez even withstood multiple Dragon Ball Z level magical blasts from the Sorcerer Supreme of the sixth dimension to Boro that instantly incinerated the far less durable humans all around her. So it definitely makes sense that MCU America Chavez seems pretty confident enough to take a big, leap and a swing at Wanda Maximoff here at this moment in the trailer. As this huge surge of clashing energy blasts seems to happen right after America leaps off of an altar designed suspiciously similar to the Scarlet Witch entry in the Dark Hole. Something I pointed out on my Twitter.com. Come join me on Twitter.com if you want to see me tweet some weird theories and stuff. And hey, the reason why MCU America Chavez can jump that high in the trailer in the first place is because in the comics, she can literally fly super fast and even effortlessly fly within the vacuum of space without the need of oxygen. But while all of these powers are super dope, the most notable and exciting of all of America Chavez's abilities is her ability to create star-shaped portals to literally anywhere that she feels like going in the Marvel multiverse at will, anytime, anywhere. And this is why we see this phenomenal piece of Sam Raimi imagery of Doctor Strange being sucked into this star-shaped portal. Because that right there is America Chavez, baby. And she does this quite often, traveling the Marvel multiverse looking for universes that have bad guys that are in desperate need of getting punched by a super-powered Puerto Rican. This right here is the game changer. Because with America Chavez now a player in the MCU, we don't need forces like Doctor Strange or the TVA being our only gateways to the multiverse. Because for years before she ever even joined up with the Young Avengers in the comics, America Chavez has been using her innate cosmic awareness of the multiverse in conjunction with all of these amazing powers to sort of be the Captain Marvel of the multiverse and has even been referred to as the paramedic for the multiverse in the comics you know, kind of like Doctor Strange will have to be for the MCU multiverse, and likely how their paths will end up crisscrossing in the movie. But hey, how the hell did America Chavez get these powers anyway? Well, for the longest time, it was believed, even to America Chavez herself, that she originally hailed from an alternate female-dominated paradise universe outside of the Marvel multiverse called the Utopian Parallel, as the daughter of the superhero mothers Amalia and Elena Chavez. And all the women and girls of the Utopian Parallel apparently were all blessed with very similar powers powers to America Chavez thanks to the all-powerful benevolent god of their universe that they called the Demiurge. Now, America thought she decided to leave this utopian paradise for other universes after her mothers died protecting her original reality, basically protecting other realities in their honor. But apparently, according to a recent 2021 America Chavez series called America Chavez Made in the USA, uh, that was all bullshit. All those years of America Chavez telling everybody on the Young Avengers in the world that she was from this utopian universe of superpowered women was actually just America Chavez repressing 
her true tragic origin. Because apparently, America Chavez and her forgotten sister Catalina Chavez were actually from the Bronx, but were also born with a super awful genetic disease called Edges Syndrome. So, in a desperate attempt to save their daughters, their mothers, Amalia Chavez, a super smart microbiologist, and Elena Chavez, a super smart pathologist, did probably the one dumb thing that they've probably done in their super smart lives by having their daughters subjected to weird experimentations with extra dimensional energies along with other girls around the world with Edges Syndrome on this private island that was called the Utopian Parallel by this super sketchy billionaire island-owning scientist called Mr. Gales. And it turns out, Mr. Gales, uh, not a good dude. So when America and Catalina's mothers discover that Mr. Gales wants to use the powers that America got from her experimental treatments for his own ends, America's mother, Amalia, sacrifices her own life to free all the experimented on little girls and destroy the facility. And then Elena Chavez loses her life not long after trying to help America and Catalina escape, specifically by being shot by Mr. Gales himself and ripping America's younger sister, Catalina, away from America completely. So the trauma of experiencing all of that in a really short period of time at the tender age of five caused America Chavez to repress all of these bad memories, basically just over-exaggerate the good parts of her memory, creating this entire fantasy about a demiurge and superpowered moms from another dimension. And although America Chavez has been a badass, unstoppable woman for years, now that her Edges Syndrome has recently started to manifest in the comics, her powers have now been basically reduced by half, with her now being unable to fly or multiverse hop for more than five minutes at a time. But that all being said, after being adopted by the Santana family of Washington Heights and living with them until her teenage years, Miss America would then go on to join the superhero team's The Teen Brigade, the team that she was on when she first debuted in the Vengeance comics, the Young Avengers alongside Kate Bishop Hawkeye, Marvel Boy, Wiccan, Hulkling, and a kid Loki in 2013's Young Avengers number five, and even helped out her bestie Kate Bishop on the West Coast Avengers in 2018. But that is a super condensed lowdown of everything that you gotta know about America Chavez leading up to this amazing film that is going to be Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. What are you most excited about to see from America Chavez? And what do you want to see the MCU do with America Chavez down the road? Like, I want to see America Chavez just interact with the 90s uh, X-Men, because that'd be really dope. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Messertainment if you want to see me tweet some really weird shit but more importantly you can follow new rock stars wherever we are on social media and if you do on youtube make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notifications every time we upload a video and also make sure to hit up new merch.com so you can get really fun doctor strange and the multiverse of madness gear but anyways thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye